So I don't know who this guy was trying to be. Is he trying to be Harry Potter, the boy who lived? You're more like the boy who got caught and went to jail. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys? Prince Charming. Today we're gonna be checking out the most funniest, dumbest tattoo fails ever. So clearly a tattoo is permanent. I mean, you can get tattoo removal, but I heard that's painful and it takes a long time. It's just something you don't want to do. People actually get this permanently tatted on their body and they don't even think about it before they get it tatted on their body, which makes no sense to me. If I was gonna get something permanent, I will really make sure it's what I want. And the worst part about this all is that most of these are typos. They don't even know how to spell. Some people just don't go to school like what is going on with this education system now and it's not even the people half the time like if I give you a sentence that's misspelled and I give it to like my tattoo artist you should be able to tell me yo um, may maybe I should do this a little bit different this is kind of wrong you hope you know this right because if I'm paying you to permanently brand my body I want it done right so make sure you smash that like button let's get a thousand likes on today's video guys also make sure you subscribe and turn your post notifications on so you know every single time I post and go Go ahead and comment if you have a tattoo what is it of or if you want to get a tattoo what are you gonna get it of if I ever do get a tattoo I don't have any tattoos currently if I ever do get a tattoo it'll probably be like a tribal sleeve like I'm gonna be looking like Dwayne the Rock Johnson it's gonna start right here and go all the way down to my wrist it's gonna look pretty clean guys but that's only if I get a tattoo you know uh, I'm not too I'm not too sure it's, it's pretty permanent a whole sleeve like that that's pretty permanent so make sure you subscribe smash that like button and comment on that question of the day and let's check out the funniest dumbest tattoo fails ever never don't give up oh my gosh come on you only had four words to work with like how can you possibly mess this up it's so simple it's never give up <laughs> Never don't give up. That's a double negative. That means always give up. Because you have never and don't in the same sentence, which is a double negative. And I'm sure if you paid attention in math class, a negative and a negative equals a positive. So you're really saying give up. Do you really want that to be on your body? Give up. Hey, everybody, give up. Never give up, kids. Always chase your dreams. Your dreams are going to be what liberates you. <laughs> no, but this is so idiotic because I don't know how you can possibly mess this up. It's literally, you only had to write three words. And I'm pretty sure you had to think about this before you got this tat on your body you have to be drunk in order to get something like this never don't give up and that's like i'm thinking this is right here on your bicep I mean, you got me to work out bro <laughs> that's what i'm guessing or is that your leg i don't know i don't know if it's a male or female all i know is that you messed up your tattoo and you need to get that fixed regret nothing Okay, so this is a normal tattoo. A lot of people have no regrets and <laughs> all that. But if you look closely, they didn't even spell nothing right. They put no hink. Regret no hink. What is no hink? Is that Spanish for something? That's Spanish for nothing? Am I not cut up on my lingo? I bet you regretted that tattoo after you realized you misspelled it. And the worst part about it is that like the letter is supposed to go in between that O and the H. So you're gonna have to get that whole thing get you're gonna have to like rid that whole thing to redo it. I don't know how you can misspell a word. Word, like come on do y'all not have autocorrect on your phone it's so simple there's a red line if the word doesn't make sense if it doesn't have a red line you spelled it right and i bet he was like trying to flex on everybody once he got this tag and like someone pointed out uh ah you didn't spell nothing right that has to be so embarrassing especially like if you plaster that all over social media talking about team tatted nah you team dummy that's what you are so i'm guessing this is trying to say belief makes things real what oh my gosh even if it was spelled right that doesn't really make for a good tattoo belief makes things real i mean uh nah duh and also like come on like what kind of font is this your tattoo artist gonna make this a little bit more cooler a little bit more closer together this is just probably the wackest tattoo i've ever seen this is like those garage tattoos like when you hit up your homeboy and he says hey come over to my garage i can tat you up this is what he'll give you guys this is what he'll give you always go to a professional if you want a tattoo if you want a tattoo because People in the garages, man, like, they just try to, oh my gosh. I've seen so many boshed garage tattoo and like, you're gonna catch something too. I hope you don't, they don't change their needles. I just don't know how you can misspell belief. Be, be life. <laughs> man, oh man, these people, sh 
golly, y'all need to go back to school because these are just the dumbest fails I have ever seen in my life. Forever with us, MJ. He touched so many. <laughs> okay, so this is actually spelled right and everything. It's just very, very ironic. So I, I, I still like Michael Jackson. Like the whole situation with him touching, uh, you know, children. I don't know if it's true. Who knows if it's true or not? I don't know. It's just really ironic. Like someone like tatted like a memorial of him, and they just, uh, oh, you shouldn't have used that that phrase. He touched so many. He really did. He really touched so many. <laughs> you're stronger than your feet. Oh my. The first year is supposed to be <laughs> you are. So they they forgot the apostrophe and then the E. Because it's supposed to be you are stronger, not you're stronger. Because you're is possessive. That means uh that's your girl. That's that's yo. <laughs> And then it said, you're stronger than you think. You couldn't just put you. What I don't understand is while like these people are tattooing on their body, do they not say it out loud? And they're like, hmm, this kind of doesn't make any sense. Your tattoo artist must have failed elementary school because golly, you have this on your shoulder blade too. Like a lot of people are going to see this. I'm pretty sure that's like a painful area too, right? I have never gotten a tattoo. Golly, like if you're going to get a tattoo, man, do it right. So what's up with people not being able to spell believe? Because like, come on, it's not that hard. <laughs> Be live, be live, hey, hey, be live. Low key, if you put like a space between B and then the live, that may fix the tat up, but like you can't do this obviously. Cause be live, that's a little bit better, especially than be live, like come on, you just misspelled believe. <laughs> no dream is too big. First of all, I'm not even gonna get on your spelling first. I'm gonna get on your position. <laughs> your tattoo artist didn't even align this, like he didn't have a template, he didn't align this correctly cause it's like not even proportion on your chest. It's supposed to be smack dab in the middle, it's more to your left side, your left and our right. Like it's way more like lopsided. Cause I don't know if you know this, but like humans are naturally more attractive to symmetric symmetrical thing so like if you have a symmetrical face symmetrical body you're more attractive and golly now let's get to the spelling what a lot of people don't know is like the twos t-o and then the t-o-o -O, then t-w-o i don't know how hard it is like two with the o-o's for emphasis so too big is what you wanted to put with the two o's look at me over here an english teacher like teaching these people these things and like his chest is still red so he just got this tattoo and he just took a picture he's like oh they messed me up that has to be the worst feeling ever because you really can't see like your tattoo while he's doing it you can only see like kind of the final product unless they stop like a couple of minutes uh each time and like show you the progress but yeah man you need to see your tattoos artist like high school diploma or something before you get tatted there because these misspellings are gonna ruin your life because that's all over your chest area dude every time you take your shirt off you're ready to get with bane everything she's gonna see this and she's gonna laugh and like run away you know a girl wanna mess with a dude that has a misspelled tat on his chest that's lopsided Decided, come on it's get better I don't I don't even know how to physically process this in my mind it's gets better I think you mean it gets better and that tattoo is not gonna get better <laughs> how do you mess this up because it doesn't even sound right it's get better it gets better you don't even need an apostrophe like that apostrophe is so pointless you did not need that at all for any part even in the correct version because if you put the s at the end of get it still doesn't need an apostrophe it's gets he got this all on his forearm too so whenever he goes for like a job interview or something like that he's wearing short sleeves they're gonna look at that tattoo and be like maybe you're not best for our company after all doesn't matter how your resume looks like if you got a misspelled tattoo you can't be the sharpest crayon in the box Okay, look, I don't even know who this is. It's probably somebody famous who I don't know. Beavis and Butthead, I don't know. Nonetheless, this is one of the ugliest guys pictures tattoos i've ever seen why would you even want this tattooed on you they literally have zits on this dude is that tats or is that your actual zits on your arm or whatnot because i mean but i'm breaking up so i can't even talk right now <laughs> he doesn't even look normal like he looks like he just you know <laughs> don't do it kids don't do it please don't do it oh don't do it please don't do it so i don't know who this guy was trying to be is he trying to be harry potter the boy who lived you're more like the boy who got caught and went to jail because <laughs> you have like a lightning fig tree looking something on your forehead what do you want to be like come on you can do better than that you can do way better than this y'all need to step your game up and it doesn't even look good like you couldn't even get that like edge down you couldn't get like a little shadow going you couldn't get nothing <laughs> it's just a slop tattoo you must not be mentally right in the head in order for you to allow somebody 
need to tattoo that on your forehead where everybody can see it. Look at the way the baby's looking at his mom. <laughs> He's like, what is on your eye? Like, what are you? Do like she belongs in something like Naruto or something because what are you like doing with this whole eye circle thing? Is this like a new trend I'm missing out on? Am I not cut up with the fashion trend? Am I, am I like way back in the past? Let's put it like this. Even if this becomes a trend, it's cool. Everyone's doing it. I am never gonna get a tattoo with a circle. Boy, bo <laughs> bullseye. Like, why do you have a target on your eye? Like, who do you think you are? Last but not least, we got this dude who actually and truly tattooed a T-Rex with a crown on his forehead. What that is supposed to mean, I don't know. I don't know how you could possibly think this is okay to possibly get, but hey, you do you, bro. You do you. It don't even look good either. It looks so terrible. It looks like, like a child drew it. This is like the drawing your kid brings back home and you put it on the fridge, even though it's probably not that good, but it's like his best work. Did you really let a kid tattoo you? Like, bruh, are you that cheap? Did you only have $10 and you really wanted to be tatted? Because if you paid full price for this, you're not the uh, sharpest crayon in the box, honestly. You really aren't. But that was it for this video, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you smash that like button. Let's get a thousand likes on today's video, guys. Also, make sure you subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you know every single time I upload one of my mwah, beautiful, perfect videos. My name is Prince of Hawkum. Stay charming, my friends.